Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Thank you for stopping by. Today, what we got is another chunk of this mesquite. I believe this is my last chunk. I uh, might have another one stored away in there somewhere, but I, I think this is the last one I have. So uh, we've used this wood a couple of times uh, recently. You know, I use what I have. So um, this was given to me by my father-in-law, Donald, thank you. Uh, so we're gonna turn this, I'm gonna try to do uh, something different with the rim, kind of a different design today. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. Um, if not, we'll, uh, we'll do the normal, but I want to try to get out of the normal. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. Um, I want to say thank you. We've got some new lighting up here in the, uh, the shop slash garage. <laughs> thank you to my buddy Matt for coming by and uh, hanging those for me. I really appreciate it. So, uh, we're going to get this, uh, this mounted up on the lathe and get it turning and see what we got today. All right, guys, uh, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you turn the bell notifications on so you never miss a new video when it, when it goes up uh, goes up And also if you could just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this uh, This turning tell me how you think it comes out. Hopefully you like the design. Hopefully the design comes out, right? And uh, We're gonna have a good good video here. So stick around We're gonna get this uh, spun up on the lathe and I'll bring it back as soon as I've got it mounted up on the screw uh, So I had to cut some more back on the uh, bandsaw to get it fully around. This thing was shaking like crazy So we've got her up in there. We're gonna tighten down the tail stock and get her spun up
All right, guys, so it's the next morning. Um, after I finished sanding last night, I just I, I went to bed. It was getting kind of late. I did um, fill this crack that we were talking about right here. I don't know if y'all can still see that. Let me... Uh, maybe there's too much light in this garage now for y'all to be able to see. Hang on, let me get y'all closer. Ooh. Go ahead and apologize now for my own sound effects. <laughs> so this crack right here, I did fill it up. Um, so I tried a uh, trick. I've seen a lot of people do it. Um, the person I guess I learned it from first, or first saw it from, was um, Kent over at Turner Wood Bowl. And it didn't quite go as well as his did, but uh, it looks a heck of a lot better than it did, and it's, it's smooth. They can barely feel it. Is you take some glue and shove it down in there, and then if you have any, uh, like, sawdust or anything, any shavings, uh, fine shavings, you can put it in there. If not, you can go ahead and just sand it over, and uh, it, it helps fill it in, and the heat from the sanding uh, go ahead and starts, you know, activating that glue. But it's uh, way better than what it was, so very happy with that. So we're going to do the finishing on the uh, the bottom, because I did put a mortise in it. I know the last couple ones I've done a tenon. Um, this one I put a mortise in, so we're going to do the bottom and finish that out. And... I might go ahead and do the outside too. I don't know. We'll find out. See, see how it goes. <laughs> so we're gonna get started on that, um, and then I'm gonna get it flipped over, hollowed out, and then uh, try to get try to get this rim uh, to where uh, to where I want it. You know what I have envisioned in my head. Some of the hardest things I have for me in, in doing this or anything creative, honestly, is just try to get my what the picture in my head to whatever I'm working on. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And let me put some gloves on, um, and I will get going on the finishing process. It's gonna be the same. I'm not gonna talk through it. It's gonna be the same as always. We're gonna start with the cellular sanding sealer. Um, I'm gonna put one or two coats on, uh, buff it out with uh, either some steel wool or a high grit sandpaper, clean it off with some denatured alcohol, or I'm sorry, not clean it off, uh, put some Axe Abrasive paste on it, rub that in real good, clean that off with denatured alcohol, then put the Axe uh, Restoring Polish paste on it. Um, as for the usual, uh, there are a couple of different finishes I want to try. Um, I haven't ordered them yet, but that's a, that's a conversation for later down the road. Uh, for today, we're going to go with Old Reliable, and that's what we're going to do. So let me get some gloves on, get everything else prepped up, and we will get this spinning and get this going. All right, so we got everything done. It's ready to go. I really like to finish on it. I did notice this, though. Um, I hope it's showing up. I can kind of see it in the camera. I hope it's showing up for you guys. Uh, this is a little light colored right here compared to the rest. Um, that's, that's gotta be because of the glue. So, but maybe, because uh, I went with a high grit sandpaper, because um, that's, that's kind of what they did. So I, maybe I need to go with a lower grit to sand off some of the excess. I don't know. So we'll try that next time we have a crack and we have to fill it. Um, either way, though, that shine, I think, looks really nice on it. I'm trying to block some of the light so y'all can see the actual shine, but not all the light. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get flipped around. We're going to start hollowing the sucker out and then um, go from there. All right, hang tight. All right, guys, so I got to flip around. I'm going to try to leave it uh, right there, the camera right there. I might end up having to move y'all. I, uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. So, um, and also, I kind of like that camera angle. I might end up doing some of this with a, a carbide cutter just because I, I like how that camera angle's out. I think it looks good. So let me grab my fish shoe and we will get her spinning and try to get her hollowed out a little bit. All right, guys, so I know what you're thinking. Richard, I thought you were going to turn it around. Ha! Check you. So I turned it around and... uh. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. There, the, uh, I can't see it in the camera, so I doubt y'all can. But um, believe me when I say the, uh, the mortar's cracked. I was a little worried about this. I was afraid it wasn't deep enough. Um, I think if I had made this deeper to where it wasn't just supported by the, the foot, I think it would have been better. But I didn't make it that deep because I didn't want to lose that much in the bowl. <laughs> you know, now I am going to. <laughs> it is what it is. So I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to have to take this foot off and I'm going to make another mortise. And then, um, then I'm going to flip around. I'm going to have to refinish the bottom and everything. So uh, I might show you all a little bit of that. I'm going to show you everything. But uh, go ahead. It might show you at least turning off, finish and everything. Off camera. All right, now we're gonna have to move though. Get out of the way, people. Get out of the way. You gotta move it. Thank you.
You guys are in the way. I might be okay. I'll let you know. Still not okay, guys. Come on. Alright, you were invading my personal space, guys. I gotta, I gotta, can't do that. Manners. All right, so I'm about to start sanding. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, and uh, then we're gonna start the sanding process. Um, I got a couple, still got this, this crack is formed again, so I'm gonna start before I uh, sand, I'm gonna start trying to put that together. So I'm gonna see if, uh, since I did it before I sanded, if I can make it disappear and get some of the sanding out. Uh, since I'm gonna start sanding at a lower grit. Uh, as y'all saw, I had to redo the outside uh, since I messed up the bottom and didn't get it perfectly back to where it should be. So I had to do back the back uh, to the outside just to, so the rim would look right. But no worries, got that done, made it a little bit smaller, no big deal, That's uh, it's kind of shallow, which is kind of what I want. Um, ooh, there's a lip right there. All right, mm, I gotta get rid of the lip. <laughs> There we go. That's better. Way better. All right. So I'm going to get set up sand. I'm going to pull the vacuum, vacuum some of this crap up or blow it off, off camera. I'll bring it back for the, the 80 grit and then uh, I'll probably show you the 80 grit and then and then do the rest off camera real quick and bring it back for the finish and we'll talk about it when it's all said and done. All right. Let's get it. All right, guys, got her all done. So um, I don't really have much more to say than what we've already talked about. So I'll get you some close-ups here. So, I can honestly say this is probably the first time something's come out the way. 
when it was in my head was, was with this rim. So I'm really, really happy with how this came out. It came out really smooth. Um, like I said in the video, this thing is just a joy to work with, this wood. I don't know 100% what we're gonna do next week. I have a good idea, hopefully. I did do my first casting. Um, I don't know if I have any pictures. I know I know I shot I know I shot video of it, but I don't know if I have any pictures. If I do, I'll put it up like right here, right here. One of these. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's in just like a mixing cup, and um, it comes out. The resin works and everything. Like I said, I'm not 100 percent sure about this resin. If it works and everything, it's in the pressure pot right now. Uh, we are gonna try to make like a vase or something out of it. I think um, is is what the plan is. So hopefully that works. Hopefully that's next week's video. I'm super excited. Um, it's been in there. I did it yesterday. It's, it's got to go in there. It won't come out of the pressure pot till well, till the earliest y'all can see this, which is Tuesday. So today's Saturday. Um, today's Sunday. Sorry, Sunday. <laughs> so um, that will hopefully be next week's. Um, but again, I am super excited about this. Uh, there are some some rough spots and stuff um, outside of the bug trails. Still learning. Gonna gonna keep grinding on it right so nothing's perfect gotta have something to work for so but that shine is really nice on it um thank you to my father-in-law donald for the piece of wood uh thank you again to my buddy matt for helping me install these lights um i noticed a huge difference there were times where i could turn this light off uh and still see what i'm doing relatively easy because i know this light kind of clears on the wood and stuff at, at the lathe so um let's see here uh make sure you like subscribe hit that thumbs up so you know when i always got a new video coming out leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it um like i said i don't know if there's a name for this style or not but i just i had this this rim this wide rim in my head and i um i just i just wanted to make one like it i kind of like it um Uh, psh, 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 psh. I said leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, um, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video if you would, if you haven't made it this far especially, share it out to your social medias, you know, friends, family, I really appreciate that, um, I don't, I don't have a whole lot more, all the socials are down in the discord if you want to go follow, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I think that's it. Uh, all those are down in the socials. Um, the Etsy store is down there if you want to check that out. And uh, I think that's it. I really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a fantastic week. Thank you again for stopping by the shop and watching me fumble around and uh, make something cool. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you next week. Mm -hmm.